Welcome, folks. Let's talk fantasy football injury letter meanings. The options that you're going to see in most fantasy football apps or websites are no letters whatsoever, which that's amazing. You could see Q, which stands for questionable, D, which stands for doubtful, or the dreaded O, which stands for out. Another possible meaning for O, sometimes you'll see the IR, which stands for injured reserve. That's actually like a super out kind of meaning. So if you don't see any letter whatsoever, you are totally safe to start that player. Get them off your bench, into your active roster, assuming that they're going to get you the most points. Of course, you, know, you always want to go by those projections, or if you just have a hunch that even maybe somebody who's got a lower projection is going to have a better game, Trust your gut. It's your fantasy football team. It's your decision to make, and ultimately, you're the only one you have to answer to. Q for questionable, you're likely safe to start that player. It's just, you know, people are questioning, they're wondering if maybe this guy's going to have some issues. So you want to have maybe a backup on your bench that if, you know, 30 minutes before kickoff, you know, you need to do a quick swap. Uh, but you should be safe to start the player. You know, it's just there's there's some questions going around, but there's nothing definite saying that the player is going to sit out or drop you a goose egg. Now, if a player is D for doubtful, there's a ton of doubts over whether this player is even going to see the field come game day, you know, before kickoff there. So this guy, you definitely want to move to your bench and find a backup to start instead. If the player is marked O for out, or as I mentioned, IR for injured reserve, you absolutely must bench that player because it's already guaranteed that he is not even going to suit up for game day so there's no way he's going to get you any points so if you keep that player in your active starting roster instead of putting him down on your bench where you're not going to earn points you have guaranteed yourself a goose egg which is terrible like nobody wants to see that goose egg at the end of monday night football and you know scores are being tallied and you know it's being determined which fantasy football team won that week's matchup. So there you have it, folks. I hope this uh, real quick, simple informational video has taught you something about the injury letters and designations that you're going to find in your fantasy football leagues. There's not a whole lot of options, not really that complicated. If you really wanted to give like percentages to it, I'd probably go, you know, if they are marked healthy, you got 100% chance, questionable, maybe like 90 to 80%, doubtful, like 25% and out is an absolute 0% chance that that player is going to play. If you've learned anything from this video, please give it a like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. You can check out my handles there over on Twitter X. Please you know, send me a comment. I've got two that I kind of juggle. The one's a little smaller. The one's a little older, a little bit bigger. But I try to keep an eye on both notifications. And so if you at me at either one of those, I should get back to you. Please feel free to reach out and I'll do my best to help you. If I can't personally help you, I'll at least maybe try to give you a good direction and a nudge to a resource or somebody that can go do something amazing.